No. This is so weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get this thing first. And then we'll talk, we'll talk about a, a couple different things. Jack up the car. We got a little noise down here. I'm gonna check out. Um, hopefully it's nothing crazy. Hopefully. This is what we're gonna talk about. Now this, if you guys have M340s and you watch my videos, well thank you, consider subscribing. If you don't, consider subscribing too. I don't care what you got, Hellcats, Miatas, doesn't matter. Uh, you'll notice in my car, uh, more so the all wheel drive ones on launch because they hook and I guess the fluid just bounces back. The rear divs tend to leak out of the weep hole. It's a problem that BMW knows about. I think they might have some type of retrofit kit for them, not exactly sure, but to kind of get them to admit to do the service for you, maybe a little bit difficult. This guy, Keegan, I think he also tunes cars over at the Shop CT. He has a fix for it. I'll put the link down below. And on the website that we got to create, change the housing of the diff, and it has a tube with a breather hole, and the idea is that the fluid will go in the tube, and uh, yeah, not exit the uh, rear diff like they do. I got it checked out because I was just paranoid and scared, and BMW told me they went ahead and uh, after they did the oil change, they checked it. They said it was decent. They topped up all the fluid. That was a little while ago. I do a lot of burnouts, donuts. Um, I suggest changing your diff fluid probably at like 60,000 miles when you should change the trans. If your car is not tuned and you don't beat on it super crazy, maybe a little bit longer, but I'll stand by the 60,000 mile thing. I got this, which is 70 bucks. You can only get it from a BMW dealership. This is a little different. You good? This is a little different from the ones with non LSDs. This car has limited slip diff, so you would need a different fluid. 50, 69 bucks for this, yo. <laughs> like, and I thought like liquor, all the fancy liquor people be drinking with 1942 and all that. I thought that was expensive. <laughs> this right here don't even get you drunk. It might kill you if you drink it though, so man. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jack the car up level, as level as possible as we can. And uh, yeah, see how much we need. So, but uh, yeah, so we have some other stuff right here from the Harbor Freight. I got some gloves for work, and then I got gloves to work on the car with. Gear, oil, and fluid pump. Thanks, how my car gets so dirty. So the idea is to put this inside the bottle and pump, pump, pump into the fill hole. I don't think this one has a drain hole, uh, which a lot of non-M BMWs have. Um, doesn't have a drain hole, just a fill hole. I know the M's have a drain hole on the bottom. We're gonna go down there and see. Last time I remember, I didn't see one. One of these work. I read up it was a 14. I just went ahead and bought them all from Harbor Freight. I probably have some of these at the house. And uh, yeah, didn't feel like going back to get them. Yo, Ryan's like a professional. You kind of got me into all of this stuff. Oh, I remember, I used to never remember, I used to never be into any of the camera yeah, equipment. Yeah. None of that stuff, actually. I was like, wait, you guys hear that? Wait a minute, what the hell? You see that? Yeah, I think it's the control arm actually. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm still doing it. Yeah, bro, it's not the tie rod, it's the control arm. You see it moving over there? This, yep, is this. Oh yeah, I see it too. You see it? Yep. Yeah, bro, this is unsafe. <laughs> To say the least. All right, so here's what I'm planning on doing. You're trading in the car. <laughs> <laughs> <doing anything. laughs> this car this car's for sale. I do not want to have anything to do with this car. It'll <laughs> just be like, that's what I'm going to do. And then cut to you at the dealership. <laughs> the dealership. <laughs> 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 dealership so, I, guys, what I just did was I, uh, Yo, guys, I, I went to the first dealership. I just picked man. <laughs> I knew I knew I should have took the chance when the hurricane came, bro. <laughs> Something told me you'll go outside, man. Let me park this down the block. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is normal wear and tear, though. <laughs> this is not something that you. Do. I got twenty. This is a twenty twenty. Oh. No, not at all. <laughs> well, then again, here's the thing: the way I drive ain't normal either. So no, not at all. You see, wiggle it. Yeah, yeah this side's good, but I'll have to swap both anyway, though. Mm -hmm. How did that side fail? All right, well, on to the diff. The original part of this video before we found out 30,000 more other things are broken. All right, you're good. Yo, that's perfect. Yo, bro, that is perfectly level. We're geniuses, bro. Did you ever realize that? Still unsafe, but Jeez, yeah, it's still not good. unsafe. <laughs> yeah, people in the comment section are going to say something. They're not bricks, okay? They're not bricks. They are. Wheel chalk jack point assist ramp. Where's that? Sir, with an S. 
because there's two. It leaks out, then there is enough fluid in there and it's not really a big of a, as big of an issue as I thought it was. If it doesn't leak out, that means it is low and at least I didn't waste my 70 bucks. Does this come all the way up? Yeah. Oh, you look under here. This is the LSD. I don't know if you guys can hear me how the audio is, but this bolt right here is the fill bolt and I don't see a drain bolt. Yeah, I don't see a drain bolt. Actually, no, that's not a drain bolt. It looked like it could be one, but I don't think it is. These are like the little diff cooler fins. I'm gonna go all the way under here to see if I see any type of... Let me know if you guys see a drain bolt. What is that? You can see the diff right here. You can tell it's leaking. It has a little cake around it. It's just not a crazy leak. It's like... Um, the issue is where... Let me see. The issue, if I get it up here is where uh, i don't know what i'm looking at guys so bear with me but uh it's supposed to leak out some top weep hole this does have a motor to lock and unlock i want to say that's like a temperature sensor right here this connector so if it gets hot it'll automatically go open diff on me pretty good back here the springs everything holding up fine just have to uh deal with that deal with that control arm issue in the front which yeah, I'm going to take it into the dealer and I'm going to see what they say and how everything works out with them. Uh, my biggest concern just for taking it to dealerships is just like don't plug my car in and ruin it, you know? So, uh, yeah. She's definitely low. So here we go. Got the Harbor Freight pump in. Have the specific BMW high poid axle fluid G4 that we need. Part number obviously I put down below. I'm gonna go ahead and pump. Okay, so it took a couple pumps. Thing looks perfect to me. Nice and clean. So So there you have it. Now, was it completely necessary? Probably not. I probably would have been just as fine with uh, that little bit of fluid not in there. However, I didn't know how much fluid was in there. I wanted to be on the safe side because, I mean, you guys see what I do to my car. So at the end of the day, hey, listen, 69 bucks, 70 bucks plus the fluid and stuff like that. I'll put all the link down below. Everything should be good. I uh, got to get the control on fixed up. Car goes to the dealer on October 4th to fix everything. So you get a loaner. They're going to take care of brakes. They're going to take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. So. Right from Slow Speed, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.
I didn't know it's what you were coming back.